If I move around any which way, it keeps my camera perfectly still. All right, in case you missed it, guys, on the way home yesterday, I hit a deer. If you missed yesterday's video, go back and look at that at the very end of it. I didn't have my camera rolling when it happened, unfortunately, but as soon as it happened and I pulled over, I started the camera, so you get to see the aftermath. It looks like it did about $1,500 to $2,000 worth of damage, mostly just the grill, but a brand new grill on a brand new truck is pretty expensive, I guess. But we've got insurance that's gonna take care of that. Uh, I do got a $500 deductible, so it is gonna cost me a little bit of money out of my pocket, but it could have been worse. I didn't think about it at the time, but the airbags could have come out. Um, it could have came through the windshield. It could have been a lot of worse things that happened. Uh, the deer could have died right there on the side of the road, which would have broke my heart. So all in all, I guess I've got to count my blessings on this one. But I wanted to let you guys know that the wife and I are planning our next big adventure. We are uh, booking a cabin in the Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is very exciting. I've been through there, but I've never actually got to stop and, uh, and explore a little bit. I'm also hoping to find some time to cross state line over into North Carolina, Asheville to be exact, to meet up with a YouTube buddy, one of my favorite YouTube buddies, uh, kind of a hero of mine because he taught me so much when it comes to videography and, and Premiere Pro and some of the new equipment I use and what equipment to use. He's, uh, he's, he's first class when it comes to videography stuff. So I haven't got to meet him in person yet, so I'm pretty excited for the possible opportunity of that. I'm also pretty excited to be trying out some of the new equipment I've been working on. Um, I've been pretty much waiting for warm weather to really get to test out some of the new stuff I've been doing. But it looks like I'm gonna get a chance earlier than I thought, so I'm excited about that. One of the cool things that I'm wanting to use is my new gimbal, not just with the drone I'm hoping to be able to fly, but uh, the handheld. Um, I showed you a little bit of that when we went to the car show the other day, but I wanted to take this chance to show you guys exactly how I made this thing, just in case you guys want to make one for yourself, because it is really neat to have if you're, uh, if you're into filming anything at all and you want steady shots, this is a pretty inexpensive way to get some really good quality steady shots. It will take a little bit of work to put one of these things together, but I promise you it won't cost that much and it really isn't that hard. If you've got any kind of ingenuity at all, you'll be able to do this no problem. And you'd probably be able to come up with one better than I've got. I've kind of just threw one together that uh, did the job for me. I didn't even care about how it looked or anything. I mean, honestly, I got some looks at the car show having that thing. It did look like it might be a bomb or a pipe bomb or something. I mean, I'm sure if I just ran in there and just like dropped the thing on the floor and ran away, somebody would have tackled me on the way out. I just want to show you guys when it's light out where exactly I hit this deer yesterday. So let me turn this here. I was coming the opposite way on this road than I am now, and it was right about here. Yeah, right here. It came from the left over there, ran across to the right. And so there's a creek down there to the left, some wooded area. That's probably where they're coming from, some water. And trying to get, this is, this is the Mooresville Parks and Recreation District. So there is a lot of wooded areas and park areas, so I'm not surprised. And there's even that there's a cornfield over there to the left so i mean it's pretty rural so right now i'm headed back to the studio and we're going to go check out this handheld gimbal i made so let's go all right guys so this is the actual gimbal right here all right, so this is called the Good Luck Buy or the Good Luck Sell gimbal. You can buy it on uh, eBay at the Good Luck Sell account, or you can buy it off the Good Luck Buy website. It's about $80, so it's very cheap. It is a three-axis gimbal, so you've got an axis here, the motor there, an axis here, and then you've got the turn axis up at the top. So it's a third one. A lot of gimbals only have two. Make sure you get three. It makes a big difference. And it comes with a connection that automatically fits into the balanced part of a battery for a drone like this here. And so the first thing I did was I attached a GoPro quick clip mount with some epoxy to the top of the gimbal so that I can put the female part of it on a handle and on the bottom of my drone. 
now I'm able to snap this thing in easily into whatever I want to use it on. And so I actually attached the female part of that with epoxy as well using one of these 3M sticky mounts. It's curved because the front of my drone is curved. And then I used epoxy to, to make sure it's going to stay on real good. I don't want to lose that thing. And on this part of it I used actually a tripod quick clip mount and I put a hole in the PVC pipe here. And this is just three pieces of PVC pipe with uh, two angles and a couple caps. It's nothing pretty. But I drilled a hole straight through here all the way down and put a quarter twenty bolt in there so that this could screw on. And I also used a small piece of PVC there to give it a little space and to go on nice and tight. And what I do when I want to use this handle is I take my drone battery and I just use some duct tape and I tape it right there. And that way I'm still able to hold this and it's out of my way and it'll power the gimbal. The gimbal fits a GoPro perfectly, but you can see here my GoPro does not look normal. What I've done is I've wrapped this in a cookie sheet tin. And I've done that because the signal coming from the GoPro, even when the Wi-Fi is off, was interfering with the GPS signal for my drone and interfering with my GPS lock. And so by wrapping this in this, I basically bought like a dollar tin cookie plate like this. And I cut it out, it's just aluminum, I cut it out with some scissors using a template that you can get that looks like this. And I'll have a link in the description below if you want to download that. And that will fit on your GoPro perfectly. I added some features like this little door here. I wanted to be able to cover it, but I also wanted to be able to open it when I needed to to get to my ports without unwrapping this thing. Now another crazy thing you'll notice about this is this protruding part on the side with some tape. And what that is is coins in there. And if you've ever used a gimbal, you may know this, but if you haven't, here's a tip. When you put this on here, the weight may not be even. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, with the gimbal not even plugged in and totally off, and my GoPro in there, it sits very even. It doesn't want to lean one way or another and, and fall all the way down. Now, before I put the coins in there, it did. It wanted to lean this way, the way of the motor, because the GoPro didn't weigh enough. So what I did was I put those coins in there. I added a few. I think I added two pennies and a dime before it was perfectly balanced where it didn't want to go this way or this way. Now that helps a lot when you go to turn this thing on and it needs to balance itself. And if you'd like to see that, let's go ahead and do that now. All right, and that beeping sound lets you know that it has initialized, it has balanced itself, and it's ready to go. And because I've weighted it, it's already balanced when it goes to initialize and it doesn't have to struggle and it doesn't give any vibration to shake. Now if you've got a brand new gimbal and you're not sure how to use it and it's shaking a lot, balance your stuff. Balance it without it plugged in and see that it sits level before you plug it in. That'll help a lot, I promise. But now as you can see, it's stabilizing. If I move around any which way, it keeps my camera perfectly still. And so I've already used this on the handheld and on the drone. And first I'd like to show you some footage I did just right outside my house in my front yard flying around with the drone with this gimbal on and in the snow, which is kind of cool. You may have already seen this video, but I'd like to show you just a snippet so you can see what this looks like. Check it out. shaky so with the wind and the propellers and stuff this thing does help a lot and now I want to show you what it looks like being handheld by this thing and you may have seen this is a recent video I just put out um, from the car show where I got to take this and use it and this is the first time I really got to use this thing and test it out and the footage is amazing so I want to show you guys that now in case you haven't seen it check it out my gimbal 
setup, my new toy, and my new device that's going to get me some awesome shots. I hope to do some very cool stuff with this very soon. And I appreciate you guys watching today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace!